Hi guys, and welcome back to Terra Famacraft. Yeah. And uh, last episode, as you know, uh, we were running out of food, and now we are f officially out of food. And I realized I actually went that way for a bit, couldn't find any animals. So I was going to lead him back with this wheat. Um, but I realized that there's not really any way for me to solve this in the recent future, and I don't want to be empty healthed for mobs if I do have to face them. So this is how we're going to solve it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seems like the best course of action, if I'm honest. Um, also, holy crap, my item spread out really far. I got an item over here from a fall right there. It's crazy. Okay. So, thinking today about what we should do. Probably some metallurgy would be the best idea. Um, I guess the best way to start doing that would be to make a metal hammer, huh? Uh, or do we already have a metal hammer? I don't even know. I think I, I think I made one last time. Yeah, I made a tin hammer, and in the old world, um, and now we can use that to make ourselves some flux. Bacha! Yeah, there you go. Got a, enough flux to last us a long time now. And we can go ahead and start making... Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about this. Give me a minute to compose myself, you know, and I'll be back. Alright, so we're going to be making ourselves a copper anvil first. Because that seems like the best way to progress. And I already threw in... Um, some copper ingots from the old world and we are cooking them up to orange I believe unless something changed I think orange is the temperature at which copper uh, melts but we don't want it to melt fully we just want it to be at orange so I think it'll go to light red or red yeah bright red the top ones are a lot slower yeah hey look this grew so now we will actually, oh goody, we got we actually got some seeds from that one. The other one we didn't get any seeds and yeah. So maybe we will be able to not starve if this keeps up. If we get two seeds from every one, we'll, we might be able to keep the wheat farm going. Right, red. Okay. So, all right, the next thing we should probably do is make a, um, since we only have a hammer and a chisel, uh, plan we should probably make a couple other things so we'll start with a sword blade oh wait I don't have any paper do I I can't make any plans I don't have any paper we're gonna have to get reed hunting this episode is the sun going down seriously uh, I don't have any paper that sucks we're gonna have to get reed hunting I guess ah I lost one Take that one out, take that one out, leave those in. All right, orange, orange, weld. Oh, it makes a cool noise, awesome. I haven't used the um, thing yet without uh, bend, 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 hit, hit, hit. And then put that in there with another hot ingot. Like, not, ah, I'm missing these, oh well. Shouldn't be trying to work multiple ones at once, but... That sound actually gets really annoying. <laughs> well, cool. Um, bright red. Uh, I'm gonna need another hot one anyway to make a double ingot. And we need seven of these in order to make an anvil in case you were wondering or you didn't know or something I don't know is it nighttime? yep quap okay, let's put you at the top alright we'll just take you out then put another one in and hopefully get another one how are we doing? how are we doing? See, I'm okay with nighttime because now maybe some zombies will spawn or something. Alright. 
you know, juggling these two is going to be obnoxious. So I think I'm just going to take this one out, put it back in, kind of deal until it's ready. All right, you've already seen me make two double lingots, so I'll be back whenever I finish making the rest. All right? All right. All right, real quick, we're at um, four double ingots, uh, and I just wanted to point out that it doesn't use up my ceramic molds when it turns into liquid. Um, I can demonstrate with this one if you guys want, but, I mean, just watch it. Like, it didn't use up a ceramic mold. I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but, yeah, that's that's not the way it used to be. Man, that sound. I'm, I actually really like that sound at the start. Now it's, like, really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be back when I have seven, guys. Alright, guys, so I got more than seven, actually. I, I just made whatever was available out of how many I got out of the forge. And now we can go ahead and actually go inside, because we don't have a crafting bench out here, and craft them into an anvil. So, if you didn't know, this is how... The anvil recipe is and voila we have copper anvil and the reason I went above and beyond was because we actually need um, well whoops that's not the way I want it to face no get out of there um, we actually need double ingots to make some of the tools like swords and stuff so but that's gonna be the rest of this episode probably because it's really hard to find reads for some reason uh, we're gonna go look for Sugar cane, yeah. So I'm going to get uh, put away all our valuables and whatnot. I don't know where, cause I have like zero space. Maybe I'll just uh, I'll do this. I'll put a hammer in there. I don't know. I'll put. What can I do? I don't know. I suppose I could craft more chests. All right, give me these and I'm gonna make one small chest and put stuff in it okay I'll put it back here all right this is our goodies we don't want to lose so maybe a wooden bucket would be useful but I'm not taking it um, chisel we don't need we don't need this or this or this or that or that probably need those I have a dirt chest oops that can go in the front of our hot bar that can go in there too and that we'll take the wheat in case we encounter any animals we'll take the axe the hoe can stay stone and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that thing maybe I'll make a room somewhere that's just like a, the progression of anvils and it'll be awesome uh, leave the markings leave the limestone Take the pro pick, take the, no, we don't need a hammer. Leave the hammer. And then take the sticks. We should probably take some rocks with us so that we can make tools if we need to. Um, yeah, so here we go. We are ready to venture off. Notice I don't have any food. I think that's hilarious. All right, so we'll actually, mm, well, that way's water, so let's try that way. I hope I encounter some zombies or something along the way so that I can get some more food. Because this journey is going to be kind of short. Uh, because any, like, traveling in Minecraft obviously eats up your food bar. Look, another random dark dirt. And I have nothing to refill it with. So, hello, creeper I just met. I'm going to go this way. Um and hopefully find some sugar cane or something I think swimming uses up a decent amount of food as well <coughs> excuse me Jeez. they look more squid too bad they're not necessary right now I need sugar cane and there's no sugar cane on this water kinda depressing kinda depressing well, we'll just keep following the map for bodies of water, and then hopefully, eventually, we will find some sugar cane. Like these ones sometimes have little uh, sugar cane towers next to them. 
in there. Okay, this goes over here. We should add this way. There's another little puddle over here. No, oh, that. Yeah, there's nothing there. Well, there seems to be a large body of water this way, so let's head this way. I hope sugarcane naturally spawn in this, otherwise that would be ridiculous and not easy. You might as well collect some more fruit tree saplings, I guess. Even though I have no need for them at all. I have yet to see one of these things bloom, actually, so. Okay, this is, I'm not going to collect anymore. This will be it. The two olive trees. I, I don't want to fill up my inventory again. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Shipper, shipper. Is this water? With lighting bugs? Oops. Didn't mean to fall in. Okay. Moving on, I guess. They also want more seeds, so... Yeah. Okay, this looks like an ocean. If I can't find reeds along the coast, or sugarcane along the coast, I'm going to be really sad. Okay. Nothing yet. I'll probably be cutting out portions of this. Just because of how, um, even though you guys should see the world as well. So, exploring isn't that big of a deal. Okay. There's water on both sides, and I can't find any sugar cane. That's not gonna help at all. Okay. Well, this is an island. There doesn't seem to be any on there. I probably should have brought my bed with me too. Even though we had a decent amount of daytime to find something. Oh, this is pretty cool. That's cool. Weird, tiny little ravine, I guess. Kind of want to go up there and walk on the grass, but. That'd probably be dangerous and not so smart. Let's go this way, I guess. Hope for the best. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice it. It's right there. It's right there. Okay, cool. We found some. Then maybe I won't be cutting a lot out because this, uh, this went fairly quickly, I guess. Probably like five minutes or so. Maybe. Don't know. Whatever. The point is that progress has been made. We have found to sugar cane. All right, all right. <sighs> okay. All right, we have seven. Probably gonna plant three of them and then use the other three on plans so that we can actually make something today. Um. Now the next thing we need to do is find our way home, which as long as we stay in this forest, we'll eventually find our way back going this way because this is the direction towards our house, kind of. I know it was at plus 1400. I don't know what the Z was though. I forget what the Z was. So is that a death point? Oh, well that'll help us. I forgot to turn off the death points. so. The death point is exactly inside our forge area, so that should be good. Or our metallurgy area, or whatever you want to call it. What is this? If we see any ores, we should definitely capitalize on the way there, though. Doesn't seem to be much that spawns in flux stone, though. Or not in flux stone, in limestone. As far as I've been able to see. Um, as far as copper goes, it seems like. Basalt is the easiest way to find copper. Oh look, it's our house. That was easy. Alrighty, home sweet home. I should really add a second floor in and a roof to this thing. Maybe we'll do that next episode. If you guys have any suggestions for what you want me to do in the episodes, make sure to tell me. This thing's still burning, huh? Okay. Yeah. Wasting stamina. Alright, we're gonna plant the um the sugar cane up here. 
and then we'll go make some plans. <laughs> Scheming plans. All right. So this is where we're gonna plant them because I don't want to use the ugly in the ugly finite water thing that is installed with this mod. It's probably my least favorite thing about it, if I'm honest. So far, I wonder if there's a way to create a source block because I really want one. Because finite water is kind of lame for farming and stuff. Such a pain. Such a pain. It basically means no automatic farming at all. So that's kind of terrible. Just a little bit, you know. It's just kind of kind of terrible. All right, so we have paper. I'm not going to make it into a book like my instincts in instincts say I should, like I always do. All right, we're going to put the paper down first this time. I know I threw one on the ground. I'm sorry. First off, sword blade. Second off, didn't put the paper on. Oh, well. Pickaxe. And what should our final tool be? Probably a saw. I would say a saw is probably the most useful thing that we could make at this point. Maybe a scythe. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to get more sugarcane soon, so we'll go for a saw because um, wood is kind of a lot easier to harvest with a saw. But I don't actually know the, the thing for it, so I'm going to go look it up, and I will be right back. Yeah, okay, so it's, I'm definitely going saw. But I did notice that if we wanted to, we could go for... Um, for armor, we could make some armor, but I think the priority should probably be tools. So we'll go with a, uh, a saw head. Um, I'm not sure if that's a double ingot thing or not. We'll have to uh, test. Okay, so first off, let's grab all of our junk that we left over there and put these saplings in whatever box has all the saplings. Yeah, that one. Uh-huh. And then give me this, 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 this. Uh, and we will conquer the world. Let's go. Is my hammer in there? Okay. Let's put. Let's go for sword blade first. Let's heat up this bad boy. I need to grab the coal as well. There it is. And ceramic molds. Although I'm not sure you need them in there anymore. Like even if it doesn't use them up, I'm not sure that you. If it would break or something, I don't know. So we'll do that, and then we'll heat up a couple more normal ingots. Um, I'm not actually sure. I know the pickaxe is um, one ingot. I don't know about the saw. We'll have to test. Uh, okay. So these still aren't grown yet. I, I really need to fix that like line there. I'm going to harvest a bunch of clean uh, limestone and then fill that in because it looks horrid. Uh, not sure why the terrain generation did like one straight line like that. Nature's not supposed to work in straight lines. Silly. Silly nature. What do you think you're doing, nature? Alright, well, let's put a flux in there just because. I can't wait for a copper sword. I'm so excited. Killing to mobs is gonna be so much easier. I also can't wait for a scythe. Or scythe. Sorry. It's pronounced scythe, people. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna go for saw head, even though a scythe would make things easier also. But I don't even have, like, a tree farm set up yet, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing, because walking around and harvesting these trees, like, one by one is kind of a pain in the butt, so I'll probably make some form of tree farm. Um, don't ask me where I'm gonna put all these things that I have plans for, because I have no idea. <laughs> also, shouldn't it take a little longer to heat up a double ingot than it should other ingots? Just saying. Not complaining, just saying. That should probably be a thing. Please hurry up so I can have a weapon of mass destruction in the form of a copper uh, sword. Maybe I should have gone for mace, but, you know, more of a hack and slash as opposed to hack and bash. You know. I guess it would be smack and bash. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on. Just a couple more stars. We're going for two, at least, before I start working this thing. Metallurgy table. Maybe we can do that as well. Make some, um, some, uh, bismuth bronze or something. I think I can do that. All right. Cool. Ben second from last. Ben third from last. Hit last. 
Oh, okay, so it wasn't perfect. It was close to perfect, though. And now, voila, copper sword. Get rid of that knife. And then take these out before they destroy something. All right, there you go. There you go. Ah, I missed that one. Darn. Okay, well, we can fix that pretty easily. Uh, and now to test if it is a, well, let's do a pickaxe first. Bend, not last, draw, not last, punch last. I know I figured this out before. Um, upset, shrink, shrink, shrink. Uh, bend, shrink, draw, punch. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't perfect. Oh well, these things need to be taken out. Oh well, that one can go back in. But this one, obviously, is too far. Okay. That one's probably gonna have to go back in the fire. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that. I failed. I hate juggling inventory when I'm working metal. I should probably just like focus and just do like a couple at a time. Okay, well let's turn this one back into an ingot just because. Oops. I guess I can shorten it by doing the higher Oh, god damn it. Okay. Alright. Get in there. Now I gotta redo that whole shebang for the pickaxe. Um, and then let's do shrink, 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 bend, draw. Ah, oh, that's not. That's not gonna be good, but that was that's good enough. Whatever. Uh, this one needs to go back in. This one needs to go back in. So does that one. All right, so we have another, we have a half-broken pickaxe. Not half, but it's damaged. Uh, we'll use the stone one up first. Um, and now we'll make, we'll try a single, a single ingot on the, on the saw blade. And then if that doesn't work, we'll do a, um, a double ingot. So put that in there. Grab that. Throw it in. Hit last, hit second from last. Okay. Perfect. It is a single, so that's cool. Take that out. Um, make that into an ingot. So many things you have to remember when you're doing this kind of thing. Okay, so now we have a saw. It shouldn't be a stick, it should be a handle of some kind. But that that's besides the point. So now we have a, a copper saw, we'll get more planks from logs now. That's fantastic. Uh, what should we do next? Well, I don't think we can make anything else with metal. Maybe we could try uh, doing some, some uh, bismuth bronze. And that requires tin, zinc, and copper. But I think it requires liquid copper, so we'll go ahead and or really like close to liquid copper I have no idea we'll just we'll just like heat those up super high and then go grab ourselves our tin and that's silver that's pig iron now I have some unshaped I know I do so much silver and lead dude like it's ridiculous amount of silver and lead okay um, there's our bismuth oh you get biz wait bismuth I thought I had zinc. Oh, I guess I had bismuth. Okay, well, it's bismuth, tin, and copper. So we'll take those out. And I'm going to go ahead and look up how to do it because I'm not actually sure. I know that these have to be, like, kind of hot when you do it. But whatever. I would look it up and I would, would be back then. All right, so on the wiki, it doesn't actually say they need to be hot. But I have a feeling that it does. We're just going to try it without to see if it works anyway. But... Yeah, see, I think I think they all need to be liquid. So let's go ahead and put the four that we actually need to mix in in the forge, and then hopefully good things will happen. So now that one's liquid. Tin heats up and cools down really quickly and uh, is hard to keep, like, stable. Uh, so does bismuth. All the low-level ores kind of do that. Uh, that's why they're low-level ores, because you can cook them in a fire and whatnot. So let's get the unshaped copper up to a decent standing. Take those out, I guess. 
Actually, I don't know if that can get hot. Is it going to get hotter than very hot? I don't think it can because it's been like that for a while. Okay, so this one's liquid now. Throw in some more coal. Yeah, it can. It just takes a while, I guess. All right, liquid. Okay. Uh, let's try it quickly, though, I guess. Put that in there. Put that in there. Go for that and that. Maybe they both have, maybe they all have to be in their like best mixing stage of solid or something, or their best working stage of solid. I don't know. The best working stage for, um, are they going down in temperature? I don't think they are. So I guess that does make it easier because now we can just take this out and wait for it to turn solid and then put it back in and then do the same for all of them. And then we, cause like the, the hottest solid state I think is what you need in order to make an alloy. So I think unshaped tin is the bottom star of very hot. Come on. Come on, man. I know you want to cool down a little bit. What? Maybe. Do they all need to be, like, I, what? Okay, okay, um, throw this back in there before something bad happens. All right, so here's my unshaped tin that I was using. I can't leave them in there, I guess, so let's, unshaped tin turns to liquid immediately. Okay, well, maybe we can't have them as liquids. So let's try all solid. Did I try all solid before? I thought I did. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't work. I don't... Hmm. Oops. Um, I guess... Well, I'm not sure which would be faster. I'm gonna have to look it up again, guys. I'm sorry. I fig I thought I could figure it out, but I guess not. Yeah, I figured it out. So they all need to be liquid. Yeah, I thought I tried that already, but apparently not because it didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it did. I don't know. Maybe it didn't work or something. But here's the point: we got our unshaped bismuth bronze. But I also realized one other thing, and that is that we can make normal bronze as well. So I think we'll do that as well. But first, yeah. So let's go ahead and throw. I think we need three of that and then one of that. And we'll make a bunch of those. And then for this, I don't know what we do. It like, can't work it yet, but I don't know how strong this stuff's gonna be. I got no idea, but yeah. I hope it's a really strong metal because yeah. I don't, can I even work it yet? I think I can make it into ingots, but that's about it, maybe. All right, so. Yeah, so this is this is what you need to make bronze, normal bronze, uh, is copper and tin. And then you saw what we need for the bismuth bronze. And we're actually not far off from making um, black bronze, which is the purple crazy stuff. And that just, we did we need one piece of gold for that. One piece, or one unshaped, I guess, because it takes more to make a gold ingot than it does, or it takes more than one ore in order to do that. So... This one seems to be cooling off slower than this one, these ones. I don't know, maybe we should spread them out. Yeah, now they're, that one, yeah. Okay, orange, hit third from last. Oh, it's the same as copper. Same as copper, awesome. Cool. Oh, that one I'm gonna have to heat up again. That one, I could probably work. Um, I wonder if I could weld these as they are bright red. I could. Cool. So now we can make something out of that. I don't know what yet, but we can make something out of it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw that in there so I can work it later. Uh, actually, I might be able to work it now because the range, it doesn't necessarily have to be orange apparently. It can just be a low whatever. I don't know. Okay, so that one is workable now. So two upsets and then three light hits will do it. Um, 
Christmas bronze ingot. What should we make? I don't know what to make with this bad boy. I don't know another pick. No, I don't want. I don't want to waste this stuff. Let's put it away. Let's put it away. I'm I'm too scared. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it for anything. I'm gonna like break it or something. <laughs> it's just gonna totally like explode in my hand or something crazy. All right, here. I don't need that plan in there. All right, so upset, upset, hit, 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 done. And then we can put that away. And now we'll go for, oops, not in there in here. Now we're gonna go for normal bronze uh, and attempt to make a normal bronze ingot. So now we have all these liquid. We should be able to uh, make a, yeah, unshaped bronze. And now whenever this stuff cools down, oops, we should be able to do more. But I actually really need to check how long I've been recording because this episode might be dragging on and I don't even know because I'm so like into this metallurgy crap. So I'll be right back with that. Ah uh, yes, it seems that we have gone over time again. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We uh, progressed a bit. Um, and next episode we'll most likely be doing more metallurgy because I'm into it now. Hey look, more wheat. More wheat. No seeds, are you kidding me, man? I can make a bread now, but I don't want to make a bread. Because then I can't breed my animals. You know. So I guess I will see you guys next time.